Hello, this is not a spring chicken. <laughs> what was in it? What was the big news today? <laughs> We're like, oh, well, okay. Well, besides Best Buy tanking this morning, okay, the big news is we were up late last night on set for The Bay, the series live on set at Henry's Hat in Los Angeles with director Gregory Martin and my friend actor Vincent DePaul. We did a live broadcast from there on the set, so that was actually a lot of fun. Got to see what was going on behind the scenes and all of that. But meanwhile, news still continues, and we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> it's really disgusting that you cut your hair a couple times a week. In fact, you could probably trim my hair. I know. Well, what happens is my hair. Okay, they they make fun of me on Saturday Night Live, folks. Half a year, my hair in no time will be down here, mm -hmm. and um, <laughs> and I have I, I I literally trim off three or four inches of hair every time I cut. So, but she noticed that day that I, I did that the other day. So actually, I'm going to. A, movie premiere uh, screenings this week, so I wanted to look more presentable for the night tomorrow. And Obama threatens executive action on against big oil debt, but the little guy. Oh yeah, basically he's going to further re he's going to further restrict oil drilling on government land, of which he can do in order to force the price of oil down. Gee, you reduce the amount of oil in the system, and you're going to reduce the price of oil. I heard one of their people saying. This morning, one of their pollsters said they don't know where where this guy is getting his, you know, who's planning this election. But every his own base now is starting to blame him for the high prices. Well, the problem is when he took over, gas was a dollar eighty eighty two a gallon. It is now five twenty five a gallon in thirteen states in this country, and they're uh, right right down the street to where I live. I got a family that has a grip service. You know, basically, that's carrying all the things around that they have to use to make a movie. Their get their their cost of doing business has doubled because of their the, the diesel fuel is more expensive than gas. Mm -hmm. They have added um, two hundred and fifty dollars a week to their expenditures on on transportation costs now since Obama became president. And then, like, yeah, like the guy said, I basically I can't tell you what they called the president. Ooh. But they did assert that I, I won't make that mistake ever again, and those are and the guy is an Afro-American folks, which means he's losing his black base also because they, they they do like to get back and forth in their cars. Market does massive rebound on a day of nothing but bad economic news. Okay, we're going to put it this way that um, what happens I know there is because I've heard people talking about there's called a reverse program on, on, on the, that. Uh, they have on Wall Street. If the gov if the if it's really tanking badly, they flip it, and all of a sudden the market goes up on bad days. And on good days, they lower the market in order to keep the steam, you know, to, to keep the market going. But put it this way: Best Buy, which was tanking this morning, is now almost in the positive categories when this is doing. And they and the company, well, we knew it. We've talked about it before. That. Best Buy was listed on one of those ten brands that is expected to vanish in 2012. And today, they what happened? Their their supporters of the okay, the, the company supports the president of the United States in his re-election campaign to the point that they added people to their payrolls over the holidays that were unnecessarily added, so the president could point out how well the economy is doing because Best Buy has added tens of thousands of people. They deliberately they, they attribute that to the massive overhead losses in the last quarter. Oh. Yeah. And the market does massive rebound on a day of nothing but bad economic news. You know, she likes that when she Well, I know likes. because you know what? <laughs> it's no. amazing. Okay. okay. How about the boat sinking in a Texas man surviving 30 hours in the Gulf? Okay. Shall we say nobody on earth? <laughs> it's like. Okay. Go ahead. I don't know what happened. There. It's still on. It's called foot. No, actually, what happened was, yeah, oh, yeah, but uh, we, we have earthquakes in California, folks. But um, nobody <laughs> buys the explanation. I was a hero for 30 hours, and then I had to let the man go because he was over on his side. It's called B and S. And if my father was alive, was until a, a police officer, my father would say, "Well, oh, yeah, they got it." Nobody's gonna buy that guy's story. I was a hero for 30, 29 hours, and then I knew I couldn't help him anymore. Um, heroes are heroes to the very end. That's why they're called heroes. And when you tout yourself as a hero, you know how you know how you know somebody is full of it. 
Mm. It's when they tell people, I'm a humble man, and then sit there and explain why they're so humble. Or when they tell people, I did these great things, or I'm giving to charity, or they say, how are they so hard and had to give up in the end? No, a hero is a guy that walks out into a minefield where he's wounded to pull somebody out of a minefield, knowing the odds are he's not going to come back alive. Those are heroes. If you've got to tell people a hero, you swim with the guy and you drown with him. That's and, how it works. And Americans angry with Obama over gas prices. Oh yeah, he's losing his base. I've got to go. I know. I have Rex with me because it's a lot of Obama stuff. And unfortunately, as most people know, Rex, like Bill O'Reilly, worships the ground. Actually, this could be Bill O'Reilly's dog. He worships the president so much. This man is too intelligent to not understand what is going on. Well. This man is too intelligent, according to Bill O'Reilly, to understand what's going on. Threatens executive action against all the petroleum companies doing business on federal land, thus causing gasoline prices to go up. Because they said this guy, he wants prices to go up because he figures they're going to go green. Mm -hmm. Not in this country, not in any country are they going green. Every nation that has tried this, is, their green industry is a disaster. We pumped, they said the President of the United States lost a vote this morning because they were willing to give him his his, his dumping of the um, petroleum tax. They were all willing to do it if he would revoke the $384 billion in green subsidies he's provided during his presidency. Uh, guess who wouldn't do that? Who? Obama. He wasn't going to punish the oil companies at the expense of green energy that doesn't make any money whatsoever for anybody, except and, the Chinese. And loss of insurance mandate wouldn't kill a health law. Okay, you know the Democrats fully expect that it's going to, they're going to lose the mandate because everyone is telling you now how it will work no matter what. I love that, here's an exchange yesterday between uh, a liberal and a solicitor general. Uh, remember when I asked you Monday if on Tuesday or Wednesday this was going to be a tax and not, uh, not, a, not a penalty and you said it's not going to be a tax? Today you said it was a tax. Were you lying to me on Monday, or are you lying to me now? And if you're lying to me now, I'm very unhappy, and I'm just as unhappy if you were lying to me then, you, because this is not a place where you lie to a person. Or maybe they're just totally confused. The, oh, yeah, the, well, uh, confused. Uh, well, yeah, yesterday, 80% um, of people in this nation are covered, and we're trying to cover the 20% that aren't covered, and then justice asks them, that's not what it says in the brief you filed. And, uh, he, uh, go, and then he goes, stutters and stutters and stutters. He said, you need some help. Can I possibly read what you said? And, uh, and then, he, and then he, uh, you hear it sing on camera, what, who, who said what in the brief? He never read his own brief. Somebody wrote the brief, and he's sitting there trying to defend a brief that he never even filed himself. And that's the Solicitor General of the United States defending Obamacare. Oh, but we'll have you know that the Supreme Court has not read the, uh, the bill. They, they have not read the bill. Um, they are, they're being told what is in the bill, but they have not um, read the bill. Aren't they supposed to read those things? Uh, yeah, you're not supposed to have a trial without looking at the, the evidence from the prosecution and defense. They have not read the bill. They have no intention of reading the bill. They're being told what is in the bill. Something seriously. Well, what it is, the people, the four judges on the left are being told from the left all the good parts in it and none of the bad. The judges on the right are being told all of the bad parts in it, and there are no good parts. That's the whole problem. There are no good parts. And FBI said to have gathered intelligence on California Muslims. More than likely. Well, I, why wouldn't they? I used to hang out. Okay, I did. I danced in 11 Elvis Presley movies, like I tell people. Oh, you knew Elvis? Well, I played football with him. I didn't know Elvis. I danced in movies, but I didn't know Elvis. I knew he was a nice young, nice young man, but I didn't know Elvis personally. And um, uh, FBI had, um, they had a file on Elvis Presley, for Christ's sake. This guy is a, is a gun-toting Christian American. This guy basically loved this country like you would not believe. I mean, you want to have a flag? The guy would have, he'd have basically, if they'd have given him the opportunity to have been in World War II, he'd have ran up the hill you know, on Iwo Jima with the flag by himself. That's how much he loved the country. They still ran a file on Elvis. And doctors doubt favoritism in Cheney transplant. Well, yeah, that, 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 you know, the, the, the things don't work no matter what. Transplants what don't work? Well, I mean, okay. Uh, Are they talking about favoritism that he got one? It, 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 there's no favoritism because he waited 20 months.
That's a long time. He waited, he waited double the time. You know what? Here's a here's a ridiculous part. Is what? Because he's what the former former vice president. They're trying to make him they don't like show him that him. they're not showing favoritism. Okay. Here's the problem: is Obamacare punishes people that are my age and Cheney's age. If you're a senior citizen, it said go to hell, drop dead. But you know what? It's like I know they do part of it by age, but. Freaking, he was the vice president. I know. Shouldn't he have some type of priority? They should have been on a priority, plus the fact... I mean... Okay, Stephen Jobs had uh, uh, two or three kidney transplants, which was illegal, but he had the money. He bought himself. Wow, he had that many? He bought, he <gasps> bought his place in line from he people. He really was on borrowed time, wasn't yeah. he? So he kept, his kidney was gone, but he kept getting transplants. Somebody else was not getting because of him and his money. They didn't pay any... Okay. Cheney basically not only followed the rules, he basically went beyond the time. So he went, you know, so they, they, they give him something, a heart, but I don't, for heart transplants just don't work no matter what they say, folks. Well, you know, the other part I have with those transplants is like, because I know, because my dad went through this, is if he had gotten one earlier instead of having to wait for, what, three and a half years? Yeah. He, he, he would have still been alive. Yeah, but there's some transplants that do work, liver transplants, kidney transplants. Uh, you can transplant bone marrow, you can transplant, because I know I, I did a bone marrow thing with my sisters. But there are some transplants that do not, a heart transplant, here's the trick with a heart. You know, with other problems, they're, they're good for the life of your life. But with a heart, a heart is only as good as the heart was meant to last. And if the heart was not meant to last long, that you've got, you're, got a, you're basically living the life out of the heart of the person that had it. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, okay, when you get angry, you should simply use your angry selectively to your best advantage. So, but don't worry, we did one yesterday, it was 16 minutes long. <laughs>